As tensions between the economic community for West African states ECOWAS and the Niger junta heightens, religious bodies have waded into the face-off in a bid to ensure that diplomacy is enshrined as against a military intervention. To this end, President Balatin was giving approval to some Islamic clerics to intervene on behalf of ECOWAS. This is in continu continuation of the President's consultations and meetings at the presidential villa in Abuja on resolving the political crisis in Niger Republic where coup d'etat recently occurred. Well, there's more details in this report. Preventing a military intervention and resolving the political upheaval in Niger Republic is a core focus of this group of Islamic clerics here at the presidential villa in Abuja. They have come to hold talks with President Bola Tinubu and chart ways to resolve the crisis in Niger Republic without recourse to military action. In his brief on the outcome of the meeting, Sheikh Balalao of Izala Group said the delegation got approval from President Tinubu to dialogue with Islamic scholars in Niger Republic on how to restore peace and democracy in the country. We want to find a lasting solution. We want peace and harmony to reign, not only in Nigeria, but in the sub-Saharan region and in globe as well. So the ulama advised Mr. President that uh, we want peace and reconciliation. Always, if there is anything happen between you and your neighbor, the Holy Quran command you to reconcile. So we want reconciliation. That's what we are here. And uh, our able leader and president accepted the offer that he wants us to intervene. Also speaking, Sheikh Abdurrahman Hamad of Ansar Udin said while President Tinubu expresses his pleasure over the disruption of a democratically elected government, restoration must be achieved through peaceful means. He has promised that if we could also talk to the people on the other side, for them to be ready to give concession, then um, ECOWAS, that he is chairman of, will also be ready. Uh, other than that, the, prof the, the president deplored, you know, coup d'etat in the Sahel region, and uh, as a Democrat himself, he said he will do everything to ensure that there is democracy, justice, freedom, and peace in the sub-region. We as ulama are also committed to peace and justice. And uh, the president will be enabling, the government will be enabling the ulama to mediate as it is appropriate. On Wednesday, the 26th of July, Abdurrahman Chiani, head of Niger's presidential guard, overthrew democratically elected president Mohamed Bazoum and named himself head of state of the West African country two days after. Since then, regional bloc ECOWAS, which is chaired by President Bolatinubu, has sought ways to restore democracy back to the Francophone country. Fulashadi, or Green Day, TV360 News.